Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec. First of all, Happy New Year. I thought I would start the year off by, of course, sharing my scrappy plans and kit for January, but I also want to talk a bit about my goals and more specifically for the first three months of 2021. Now, what you see on the screen is a pile of untouched, unopened material that I pulled out from my stash. Basically, it's the result of a COVID spending spree. Now, fortunately, I'm in the habit of only buying material that I love. So I have a whole pile of material I love to work with. But it is time to dig into it because if it hangs around too long untouched, it'll get old and I'll get tired of seeing it. So my plan is to create a big monthly kit from this pile of new stash for at least the first three months of the year and then I will reevaluate. Also, I plan to have a designer focus each month. And what I mean by that is I am going to select one main source of inspiration and that may be a YouTuber or a class I haven't finished or a Patreon account and basically benefit from this source of inspiration. Some of it's free and it's out there to be used. Also, some of it I've paid for and I just don't seem to have time to use it. And I'll talk more about that when I put my January kit together. So what I'm showing you right now is the material that I bought during my spending spree. Now, as you can see, I have Vicki Booten's Storyteller Collection in front of me tons and tons of paper. Now I didn't buy it all, but I bought a lot of it. And a lot of it, I bought two of each. I also have alphas. I have that little mini tag book to be made. I also have two ephemera packs. One of them is more like journaling spots, the others icons, and those butterflies are layered stickers. Another collection I bought a lot of is the Jen Hadfield Avenue collection. And again, I haven't touched it tons of paper here not all of it but a lot of it and i bought two of each not for every one of them but for most of them paper happens to be my favorite scrapbooking product so my kits tend to go heavy on the paper i also have the 6 by 12 sticker sheet as well as the titles as well those are super usable i'm excited about that and there are two ephemera packs from this collection and honestly of my entire spending spree these are the only two products I'm disappointed in. So that's not bad, and maybe I can alter them a bit. I also have some smaller collections in this stash. So I'm showing you the Kate and Ash collection from Simple Stories. I have the paper pack with the stickers. I have titles, ephemera, and enamel dots. Another smaller collection that I haven't touched yet is this Heart and Home collection from Photoplay Paper. Same thing, there's a collection pack with 12 sheets of paper and a 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And I also have the ephemera for this collection. Another collection I have, well, I, it's not really a collection. I have a bunch of the paper. It's from Studio Light. And this product is really new to me. I've never touched it before. And it's absolutely gorgeous, really nice thick paper. So I have some paper from a Christmas collection as well as a winter collection. This is another pack of paper that I haven't opened yet. It's the pet collection from Stampin' Up. The name escapes me right now, but one side's cats, one side's dogs, and it's in their current catalog. Here's another Stampin' Up product that's still in its packaging. It's a punch called Lovely Labels Pick a Punch, and I also have this bundle. It's called Nothing Better Than. It's got like cocktails, chocolate, coffee, stuff like that. Here is a die set from Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's like this big half viewfinder, super, super cool. And another set of uh, dies. This again is from Studio Light. It's like this giant chipboard. So that could be fun for journaling. I also have a stamp from Studio Light, the Grunge Collection. It has leaves on it. So what I'm gonna do now is show you my January kit. So what I did was I selected some material from a few of those collections I just showed you, but basically smaller amounts. I'm showing you a bunch of Vicki Booten that I selected. Again, some of it I have two of each sheet, others just one of each sheet. And all I'm doing is reducing my choices here. And again, if I don't use it all, no big deal. This is not a kill a kit video. 
if I need more of it, I can also dig into it. It's not far, it's near my desk. As you can see, I have the alphas as well as the two ephemera packs and those butterfly stickers. And I did dig into my stash and I pulled some more alphas. I have large black alphas and smaller ones. Those are foam thickers, kind of a basic product. They are picked through, but I should be able to get some titles from that. I also selected material from this Studio Light collection. Again, I didn't have any embellishments for this collection, just the paper. So I'm showing you what I selected. And again, sometimes I have two of the papers, sometimes just one. I figure if I have a few Christmas pages left to go, I can do it. And if I'm tired of Christmas, it's good for winter pages. For embellishments for this, I did dig into my stash and I came across this Graphic 45 collection, which is part of their basics collection. I think it's called Sky or something like that. Anyway, I thought it did go well with the aquas in this paper collection that I've selected. And also from Graphic 45 is this ephemera pack. And it's almost like a collage layering pack. The colors go super well with the paper I've selected and it has that distressed look as well as the paper so it coordinates quite well i did need some alphas those ones there are from my stash they are from heidi swap and i'm just going to show you the vicky boot and ephemera packs because there's quite a bit of aqua color in there it is stronger however i may be able to make it work with this paper it does have that distressed look both collections do so that will coordinate well together anyway we will see the option is there and finally i selected material from one more of the mini collections and that is from the photo plate paper heart and home collection basically what i did was i selected six sheets of paper from that collection which is like half of it I also selected the sticker sheet that's part of the pack, and you're gonna see I have the ephemera out as well. Again, if I don't use any of this or all of it, it's just gonna go back in with its collection. So I'm showing you the ephemera pack there. I did need some titles for this, so I actually selected the titles from the Gent Hadfield collection. Like I said earlier, they are super, super usable, very, very versatile. Um, so I thought the gold went well with that. And for my January tool, I decided to go with this viewfinder from Elizabeth Craft Designs. That looks like it's going to be really a lot of fun. So in the next few moments, you're going to see some still shots of my January kit as well as the mini collections. But what I do want to talk about is my designer focus for January. What I'm going to be doing is following Janet from RTS. I am part of her Patreon account. I have been for a year now, and I just don't have enough time to really benefit from her motivation and inspiration. So I'm going to make an effort to watch her as much as I possibly can in January, and I'm super, super excited about it. I should be doing some process videos with this material, so I will post them on this channel, and I will certainly do a layout share at the end of the month. So thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.